Hi you guys, welcome back to the soap room. Today I'm gonna get warmed up making my fall soaps with making an October soap that reminds me of um, when my kids were younger and we used to have fall and harvest parties in their classroom. So I'm gonna be using this Purple Vibrance from Nurture. I'm also going to be using this electric orange mica also from nurture bright orange and then a little bit of activated charcoal and a little bit of titanium dioxide for my fragrance blend i'm going to be using grapefruit and bergamot by nurture and this says it does have a light tan discoloration so i want to be careful with that probably only add that to my colored portions of the soap and then i wanted to add just a splash of this cranberry fig from brambleberry it smells really good but i haven't worked with it for a while and it does have a slight acceleration so I'll be just putting a splash of that in there. Should be a nice um, blend of um, like fruits and fig and cranberry and kind of some of those fall scents. So um, let's see, I think I'm gonna go for a drop swirl, but you know how I work. <laughs> Sometimes I change my mind at the last minute depending how, on how everything behaves. So. Let's put some gloves on and we will make some soap.
Okay, you guys, we are at 48 hours later, ready to cut this soap up. I wasn't able to cut it up last night because I worked late. So it's been in the mold for about two days and I'm excited to see what we have here. There's the first piece. I'm excited to see some of that orange in there. I really fell in love with the orange when I made the nasturtium soap. And I realized like, I don't, I haven't used a lot of orange in soap. So um, I'm hoping it comes through really bright in this soap. And this is just my warm up for getting ready for fall. And I have to say that for the first time the other day, I was feeling um, ready, ready for um, the next season. And I typically never want summer to end. I love everything about summer. I love the warm weather and the garden and the flowers and being outside all the time. I love being outside. Um, but we are at that point now. We've made the shift. We are into the very parched part of summer and it's taking a lot of work to keep everything watered and the thought of um, having some longer evenings inside kind of sounds good and to cool off it's been a hot summer here in Oregon so I'm excited about that and I'm excited to start making the fall soaps I have some good ideas I don't know if you can see this on the camera but I did get some glycerin rivers. If you look in the white portions, you'll see glycerin rivers. That is from having a lot of water. Some people would say too much water in my titanium dioxide. Now, glycerin rivers are a real pet peeve for some people. I tend to think they're beautiful because you could never duplicate a glycerin river ever again. You just get what you get. And I don't know, it's pretty. I don't know, I don't wanna to go too close and get blurry, but you can just see a little bit of glycerin in the white portions and it's all swirled up, it's pretty. Hey, I like this. This is fun, very fallish. I picked these colors, like I said in the intro, um, when my kids were young, um, I used to volunteer a lot at their schools um, I love to do the harvest parties because you get to dress up and I love to dress up. I've never grown out of that. I still dress up. <laughs> and um, these are always the colors like the purples and the oranges and the blacks. And we even had a couple um, Halloween parties here at the house when the kids were young um, where we played games and dressed up and... My son had a really big sleepover Halloween party one year. I was just talking with some of his old high school friends about that last week. So good memories and um, just very nostalgic colors for me for this time of year. Um, the fragrance is good. It's nice and fresh. It's not like, you know, super fall cinnamon pumpkin or anything like that. But the fig, the fig really gives you the um, fall vibe. And it's fresh with that little bit of grapefruit and bergamot and just a nice bar. I'm excited to stamp this. I think it'll look good. All right, guys, I have kept you here long enough. I am going to sign off. And just lastly, I want to remind you that you can find me on Instagram and you can find me on Facebook at The Soap Genie. And I appreciate all the new subscribers and all the views. And I'm just having a ton of fun. So appreciate you guys. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will catch you on the next one.